What is going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with a brand new episode of the Darren McDonald Be a Pro Series for NHL 24 and entering the 19th game of the regular season. DMAC has been pointless in like eight games or nine games or something crazy like that. Absolutely not the start we were looking for. We've been not really getting much ice time and now we're headed up against the second place Calgary Flames here at home. I'll see you on the ice. So definitely the start we needed here in the first game of this video, jumping in with a 1-0 lead. Just almost halfway through the second period, halfway through this game, here at home. Up by one, we're getting on the ice with just under eight minutes to go in the second period, so here's hoping that we can play strong, come away with a much needed win. We're on a bit of a skid, we won a game, but it has really been rough going, so here we go. My boy Wyatt Johnston gets it to Haskinen. Haskinen loses that one. DMAC picks it right up. So we're going to whip that one around the net, and Wyatt Johnston gets there first. He gets it back to the point. Haskinen with a shot, and oh my goodness, that guy came loose in front. We were screening the netminder. Let's tie up Shillington. DMAC gets that one back. It ends up getting whipped back around behind the net, and Coleman's coming up for Calgary. Gets the pass to Backlund. Captain Backlund can't get her past Jake Ottinger. Back into the point. Jordan Osterly with a big shot on net. Nice stop by Otter. That one ends up clearing the zone. And Gino Dadanov chasing down his man. It's Noah Hannafin getting it up to Blake Coleman. Adam Ruzichka gets that one to Backland. Back over to Coleman. I'm just kind of backing off a little bit here. Getting all tied up around the boards. And we took it away. There was a, you know what? DMAC had a lot to do with that one. And here comes Miro. Miro jumping up into the play. Doing ninja moves. Big shot. And a nice stop by, I believe that's Dan Vladar in the net. We're getting really late in this shift. Ruzichka loses that one to Lindell. Dadanov's got it. And he's going down the ice. Oh, my goodness. He just, like, walked right into that hit. And here comes Lindholm. He loses that one. And Essa Lindell back to Miro Haskinen. We're trying to get up the middle a little bit. we got to wait for him. Stay on side. Rope Hintz loses that one. Can we hold on to it? No, we ended up throwing that one away too, and they could not take it off of Noah Hannafin. Get me out there, coach. Put me in, coach. All right, here comes Blake Coleman entering the zone. Great stick by Ryan Suter, who's unable to do anything with it. So in the final two minutes of the second period, we are still out there. We're on that left wing with Wyatt Johnston and Gino Dadanov. So I'm assuming that means Mason Marchment must be injured, or maybe someone in the top six is injured, and they threw Marchie up there. Nice play by Wyatt Johnston. Gets it over to Dadanov. Dadanov tries to whip that one into the zone. He can't do it. Osterly loses it, and we got a fight going on. Oh, my. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Wyatt Johnston taking on Blake Coleman. Whaboom! With the big uppercut. Great way to start. Great way to start. Another shot. Oh, but he took an uppercut as well. All right. You got to dodge some of these shots. Oh, double uppercut. Uppercut. Boom! You got another one in there. Oh, Coleman, you're going down, brother. Look at this. Look at this. Johnston misses that one. Another nice dodge. Nice dodge. Take the shot. Whoop boom. He's probably got one left in him. Boom! <laughs> Blake Coleman, lay down. Oh, I like it. That's right. Wyatt Johnston, one of my favorite Dallas stars, sends Blake Coleman to the infirmary. <laughs> Oh, you love to see it. Are we even still out there? Yeah, we are, man. Getting late in this second period. I am very surprised, pleasantly, at how much ice time we have been getting. Gets that one in front, and low shot on net. Oh, he dove. He didn't even go for the deflection. He just dove, and there was a huge hit behind the play. We're in the final minute and a half. Holy crap, I'm holy. DMAC picks that one up around behind his own net and keeps it. Whips it over to Foxa. Foxa gets that to Dadanov. Oh, man, I called for it. He sauced it, but that just does not seem to work. We got her back. Get that one over to Foxa. I got tied up. Foxa lost it. Is there any way Ryan Suter can get that one back? And, oh, we're so far behind the play. Getting late in this one. Another huge hit. But they're going to call What is it? An, uh, no, it's charging on Dadanov. Wow, okay. I didn't, I didn't really see that one coming. <laughs> All right. So, wow. That is actually going to uh, end the second period. We, we got a lot more ice time in that second period than I really thought we were going to. So I'll, I'll take that all day. Still a one nothing lead. So put 20 minutes back on the clock as always. It is uh, five on four. 
Calgary's on the power play for over a minute. What are we getting down to? We got a simulation. No, we don't. What? Oh my god, I'm just sitting here talking about how much ice time I'm getting in this damn game, and it's there we're in the final ten minutes of the damn game. Haven't even had the chance to do anything yet. That enough. Oh, I thought he might drop. Feed it to me. He is now. Get across. Nice shot. And Wyatt Johnston cannot get that rebound. All right, hold on, hold on. We'll turn back a little bit. Whip it around behind the net. There's Dadanov. Dadanov still has it. Still has it. Ooh, ooh. Near side shot. We got her back. We got her back. Get around everyone. Oh, no. I took a huge hit. And that one, I was hoping I could get around the other side of the defender. It just did not work that way. Okay, we're putting the pressure on him right now. Johnston can't get the shot off. Then he does get the shot off. Oh, but I just was kind of, I was just kind of coasting around. I couldn't get in there fast enough. And Yegor Sharangovich brings it in for Cal Whoa, that one took a funky bounce. Luckily, it bounced above the net. Ryan Suter hangs on to that one. And Yanni Hockenpah looking for somewhere to go. Okay, nice pass. He's going to get that one to Dadanov. Dadanov up to D to the measle. Oh, D to the measle. Yeah, oh, I took the... Okay, Drew penalty. Drew penalty. I'll take it. I'll take it. Can we go up two to nothing? Near, right and near the end of this game is just exactly what we need. But defensive grade looking solid. That team play grade just went up a little bit there because we drew that penalty. And my God, we're down to the final minute 43. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right up to Dadanov, and he can't get the shot off. What do we got? Coleman, I tried to take him off, and it just won't let me hit him. And he's just going to do that really piddly little dump in. They got that one deep. Dadanov up to D to the Mac. D to the Mac, bringing that one through center. We're doing a little bit of the fancy work here. And we're turning back. Turning back. Turning back. Is anybody open? Is anybody going to get open? No, we're just going to hold it. Let's carry it. No, I lost it. No, I almost got it back. Zadorov, there's no way I'm going to move you ever. That enough. Right in front. Nice shot and a big save by Danny Vladar. And I don't know. That could do it for us for the first game of this video. Jonathan Huberto. Oh, and he loses it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Somebody get up there. No, Dadanov can't get to it. And Zadorov does not lose it. Here comes Huberto. Final 15 seconds of the game. And that was almost a crazy wide open net. Big feet. I'm not going to be able to go anywhere with that. And Dylan Dubé gets it to Mackenzie Wieger. Boom, he's going to lose it. No, he's not. Dubé loses it, though. Go, you get out of get out of the way. What are you thinking, buddy? And that's going to be game one nothing victory for the Dallas Stars, where we got heavily outshot. I think they got close to 40 shots in that game, but a much-needed win to put us back above 500. So with a couple of decent games in the simulation, we're now two games above 500. We went 1-0-1, skipping two games. D to the Mac finally gets rid of that, like, 10-game pointless streak. And now has nine points in 21 games. I don't know if we got anything in this one, but it is a 3-2 game for Dallas. So if we can put together a couple of wins here and start climbing back up those standings, here comes D-Mac. Mac, we're going to turn back, took a bit of a hit, but got that one up. Mason Marchman back on a line with us, and here's Wyatt Johnson whips it across to D-Mac. Uh, D-Mac back to the point. Essa Lindell with a big shot just wide, and we took it back. Okay. All right. Just, oh, I just tried to whip it through traffic. It didn't work. Haskinen gets it back and then loses it, and it's looking like the Tampa Lightning might be getting this one out of their own zone and down the ice. Hedman, lose that thing. It's not going to happen. All right. It took me a while to get back. Control of my stick, Hedman with a big shot, and Matt Murray with a big save. Up to Wyatt Johnston yet again. I don't got a ton in the way of uh, energy left. Yeah, I'm yet. Oh my goodness, get out of the way. All right, here they come. Tyler Mott, all oh, lay down. Here we go. Nick Paul gets it back to Bogo, and Marchment's got it on a breakaway. All right, I'm dead to the world, but Marchie, I was going to say, did he even get the shot off? Wyatt Johnston gets it back to D Mac. D Mac, get that one to Marchment. Marchment, back to the point, Hawk and Paw, Suter, oh, and he finally went for a deflection, we are screening the tendy, oh my goodness, I think that one went off my midsection, Edler tried to pull that one away, and it ended up going in the opposite direction, oh wow, okay, so we went from 4.53 all the way down to the end of the second period, so now we're back, uh, back to the normal thing here, where it remains 3-2. So, put 20 minutes back on the clock, as always, here at the American Airlines Center. Is this going to be just a thing every single year that we do uh, NHL videos, where no matter what, it's just, like, constantly... <laughs> we play nothing but home games every single time. 
So we're just over four minutes into the third. Here's Calvin DeHaan finding Nikita Kucherov, and he can't do nothing with it. Marchi, Marchi into the zone. He does ninja moves that go nowhere, and DeHaan's going to take that one back up for Kuch, and Marchman, get out of the goddamn way. All right, that was almost a late hit. Braden Point gets stapled to the boards there. All right, what do we got? Kick it literally any direction. Wyatt Johnston, he can't do anything with it, but Miro Haskinen, he's looking for a man to get out of the zone. Anyone would do. All right, we'll get that one to Marchment. That's offside. Don't bring it back in. Okay, get out, get out, get out. There we go. What was that? Perron? Waboom! <laughs> Wasn't me, but whatever. Uh, hits a hit. We're just going to whip that one deep. I think Marchy could get there first. He's going to. Back to Johnston. Johnston can't get the shot off, and it ends up back in the corner. Oh, my God. Get away from me, dude. Is that a penalty? Point? I can't hit him. Cooch. And all alone, huge save by Matt Murray. Braden Point back out in front. Gets that one to Vicky Hedman. Gloved down by Matt Murray, who's going to cover up that puck. Oh, man. A couple of really decent saves by the netminder on that one. Final 10 minutes of this one. Wyatt Johnston looking for somewhere to go. That's not working. Oh, we're all just bouncing off each other. Braden Point just walks his way right in. Oh, big save by Matt Murray. Probably shouldn't be standing this close to the front of the net. Nicholas Lundqvist, oh, loses it to Braden Point. This is not the kind of line that you should be giving this puck away to. Backhander by Point, another backhander. That one makes it through to Matt Murray, and it's good. Perbix threw a lot of traffic, and Murray with a huge stop on that one. All right, what are you saying, brother? What are you saying? We're putting the pressure on him. Don't stop now. I can do that, coach. I'll keep putting the pressure on him. I actually would say they're putting the pressure on us. But, hey, man, whatever you need. Whatever you need, that's what I am here for. Look at how gratuitously long this cutscene was. But it's fine. We are 20th in the National Hockey League. Tampa sitting at third. But we are currently on the upswing. I believe we were as low as, like, what, 24th or something at one point? Nice block in front. DMAC trying to take this puck away, but Cooch gets it back through traffic. Matt Murray's just going to direct that one out. Gets it over to Calvin DeHaan. Perbix lose this thing. Gets it back to point. Point to Calvin DeHaan. Big shot. Another easy stop for Matt Murray. You want to go? Oh, it's Cooch. He's not going to fight with you. He's just going to be the dirtiest, like the low-key dirtiest player in the National Hockey League. We are out shooting them, though, as we sim down to our next sh no shift. There's no next shift. So, yet again, just crazy, crazy long simulations, not getting nearly enough ice time here to really produce anything. But another win. All right, we got a conversation with El Capitan again. What are you saying, buddy? Oh, he's texting me? Okay, we're almost two months into the season. It's time to see how you're doing in the Calder race. Sure, I'm not too worried about it. My chances to win the Calder. It's more important to me that the team wins. I'm third in the Calder race with six goals, four assists, and ten points through, like, 23 games or 24 games or something like that, which is absolutely not good enough. What are we saying now, man? We've been hot lately. We need to keep this momentum going. The way we've been playing lately, I can't see a lot of teams beating us. Exactly. I need you to make sure no one is going to beat us. Promise or overpromise. There's no reason for us to slow down now. I like our odds every game we play. We're one of the hottest teams. That's what you keep saying. You keep telling me the same goddamn thing over and over again. Holy. Too many, too many conversations, and I even cut a couple of them out half the time. We simmed three games. We won them all. So on a five-game winning streak, the 14-8-3 Dallas Stars wearing the fireman uniforms. All right, here we go. We're up 2-1 to one against the Vegas Golden Knights in the third and final game of this video. Again, the games have been really flying by, and, like, I don't know how long this one's going to be, but I'm not going to do, like, four gamers every single time, you know what I mean? All right, D-Mac off the bench, gets the puck right off the heezity hop, and here we go, baby. We got... Couldn't get the shot off. We got it. We got her back with a backhander and a big save by Robin Leonard. Robin Leonard. Panda. Lindell. Who's he looking for? He's looking for Roy, apparently. All right. Roy gets that one up to Carrier. Carrier brings it into the zone. What's he going to do? Ninja moves. And a big save by Otter. And Miro Haskinen's going to get that one back. Let's get that one over to Mason Marchment. Marchment walking right in. I'm getting past. Shea Theodore, but he's just got too good of a stick. It's just not going to work. Keegan Colasar gets stood up. I get tangled. I'm still tangled. And that wasn't a penalty somehow. All right, all right. Turn him back. Get out in the middle. 
Turn back again. Some more. Take the shot. Oh, that was a good shot and a big blocker save by Panda on that one. And we are dead ski. Dead ski to the world ski. That was terrible. I should not be a commentator ever. All right, here we go. Rope hints. Bringing her in. Oh, why'd you put the stick back so many times? Ugh. All right, so we'll sim down and see where we're sitting now. Yep, there goes the rest of the second period after what I thought was actually a really good shift, but it's like we're playing like 10 minutes a night. No wonder why we can't produce freaking points. So put 20 minutes back on the clock one last time again at American Airlines Center. Like I said, rocking our sexy fireman outfit. We can make a, a team calendar out of those. There you go. Do we have a sim goal? We don't. We're just benched for a really long time, I'm assuming. Yeah, there was some special teams thrown in there, but we're finally on the ice. And here's Nick Hag. Getting it to Roy. Roy up to Keegan Kolasar. He's just going to dump that one deep into the Dallas zone. Pick that thing up and maybe go somewhere with it. Nope, he's just going to hold it indefinitely. But, oh, I poke checked and I shouldn't have poke checked. Martinez. Gets that, whoa, that was a little too close for comfort, and Jake Ottinger actually had a really hard time finding that one. Oh, me and you, Nicky boy. You and me, Nick Roy. So you drop them mitts, and let's get into her. All right, here we go, baby. Here we go, baby. This is D-Max, what, third fight now? Third fight in his rookie season, and after this, we are nearing the quarter way mark of our first season in the National Hockey League. Whoop, nope. Bah, oh, he dodged me. All right, all right. Uppercut. Nah, man, you ain't hitting me. You ain't hitting me. You want to try for an uppercut? I gave you one of my own. Oh, no, 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 no. Throw him off. No, just throw him off. Just, oh, and he got me that time. The bucket's off, and that is not what my hair looks like. I'm just going to get him hooked. Let's just hold him here for a second. Guess what, Nick Roy? You're done, buddy. Oh, just a kill shot. <laughs> Taking out the trash because it's garbage day. <laughs> garbage day. I had time. I can do it twice. It's fine. Great fight. Great fight for the kid. That should pump up the boys. Let's go. Nick Roy in the box feeling like he's seeing birds. Yeah, that boy is seeing Tweety Birds, man. What are we down to? 1336. What are we going to be in the box for? And can we fire up the boys? I think we got a simulation goal. We got a simulation goal. What's up? We have two, two simulation goals, <laughs> and the game is over. <laughs> oh, three to two victory for Dallas, who are now on a six-game winning streak. And you know what? I'm going to take credit for the uh, third goal for the Dallas Stars because it was totally D-Max fight that, that rallied the boys up and put us on this wicked winning streak. Accidentally went to the calendar. You know what? Let's go to Stat Central and let's see how this team is looking so far this season. Jason Robertson with 34 points in 26 games looking good. Pavs is good. Everybody's looking great. Everybody's producing good until you get way down here to D to the Mac, who is a plus one. Is a plus one. That physical needs to come up a little bit. The shot needs to get a little better. I mean, some of the... Uh, Puck handling abilities aren't too bad. We've taken 53 shots in 26 games, plus one, 21 penalty minutes. Shooting percentage is above 10. One of the goals was shorthanded, averaging 12 minutes time on ice. 18 hits, three blocks, 24 giveaways, 20 takeaways. Actually, not the worst stats in the world. I'd like to have more takeaways and giveaways, but I got no freaking puck control. So what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Now, we'll see who's leading the National Hockey League. It is Tage Thompson with 39. Then Point, Stammer, Matthew, Skinner, Nuge, Robertson, Goudreau, McDavid with 33 in 24. Now, having McDavid at, like, 13th in the NHL in points, not too uh, out of the ordinary so far this season. Anyway, this is going to be a short one, but... That is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you haven't already, there's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers. Have a good one. Chicago puts on a clinical defensive effort and skate off with the win. We got a jam-packed show. We've got a lot more